Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different today instead of just playing video games. Um, I wanted to do a tutorial video to show you how to play video games. Uh, specifically, I want to show you guys how to use the Google Cardboard Virtual Reality Viewer to be able to play Minecraft. Um, and it makes for a really neat uh, experience. So, really quick, for those of you who don't know, what Google Cardboard is, is it's this ultra cheap virtual reality viewer designed by Google. Um, and it's actually made by different manufacturers. I got mine from this site called Unofficial Cardboard. Um, they have a pretty good deal right now. Um, you can get their deluxe viewer, which this is. Um, it has adjustable lenses for different games um, and eye widths um, for $20. Um, and then you can also order a head strap as an extra add-on. Um, all in all, with the shipping and everything, I paid under $30. And it's really cool because you can get this uh, really, really neat virtual reality set. So you may be wondering, you know, how does Google Cardboard work? It's just a piece of cardboard. The cool thing is the technology all comes from a smartphone, either iOS or Android right now, too. It doesn't have to be an Android. Um, and with the right apps, apps that are designed for virtual reality, you can take your phone and put it in here and get this really neat 3D virtual reality um, like head tracking experience um, for ultra, ultra cheap. I mean, this, this thing is, you know, way cheaper than something like the Oculus Rift or something like that. But with the right apps and the right setup, you can also actually play games on your PC in virtual reality using this. Um, so it's pretty neat. Um, so I guess I just kind of wanted to go over um, sort of re true virtual reality versus um, like a simulated virtual reality, which is what we're going to do for Minecraft. So basically there are these different protocols out there for certain headsets. Uh, like the Track IR, like the Oculus Rift, um, and those are basically special protocols that talk to their specific headsets. And when people design a game, they can configure their game to use those specific protocols for those specific headsets. The really neat part about that is that, so if you're playing like a first person shooter say, and your character is holding a gun, your head tracking where you look doesn't affect where you're pointing your gun so your head moves independently of where you're pointing um, and and that requires some extra programming to be able to get that to work but for games that don't natively support head tracking you can still simulate the head tracking by um, basically making it so that you moving your head is equivalent to moving your mouse cursor. So it, even though it doesn't give you that sort of, you can look in a different spot than you're pointing type of thing, like a, a game that's actually set up to use virtual reality is, it's still a really cool experience. Um, and playing Minecraft, especially in 3D with this Google Cardboard headset is pretty cool. So um, there's a couple of different applications and stuff that you're going to need to download. I'm going to show you what I think is the simplest setup um, using a program called IntuGame VR that's basically designed specifically to implement virtual reality in games that don't natively support virtual reality. Um, and we're also going to be using this Minecraft mod called Minecraft, which is this Minecraft mod that was basically designed to make Minecraft compatible with the Oculus Rift. Um, and even though we're not going to be, be able to use the actual virtual reality functions in that, um, in that program because we don't have an Oculus Rift, I'll show you how to set it up so that you can still get the really neat 3D functionality that the program provides and also simulate the head tracking using um, Google Cur Cardboard going one-to-one -one with the mouse cursor basically. Um, it's really, really neat. So I hope that you can stick around and I'll show you how to set it up. Uh, there's not really many 
good tutorials out there. So the, that's the kind of reason I'm making this tutorial. So uh, yeah, if you were ever interested in playing virtual reality Minecraft, stay tuned.